Hi all, thought I'd play one or two Blitz games today. I had a long losing streak to be honest on the ICC. Um, I lost about eight games in a row and I managed to win yesterday. Um, but my rating is still not that great uh, compared to what it used to be. And it's still tough on the auto parry. <laughs> so I've been knocked down and it's still really tough. So I am... Alright, let's try and uh, play a decent game of chess here. Okay, not queen e2. Uh, too cheap, I think. Mm, maybe I'll just try and keep a solid center. Put the line up a bit, I think. Okay. So I hope I've got some sort of advantage. Maybe I don't know Queen B three here. Hmm. All right. I don't want to give double pawns because you have that strong rook. So maybe just I play Bishop E three to try and tempt the opponent to take on B three. If I've got D five as a threat. Okay. Right. Now maybe F three is okay. I will watch out for knight d five though. We'll play bishop d two though. Maybe or king f two. Hmm. Don't want to exchange that bishop. Maybe. Go for it. Okay. So this pawn's a bit. I'm going to play a three to complement my opponent's a six. Both neutralizing each other's pressure on the H files, on H A and H files. All right, so um, I don't know if C four is any good. C four. If I play over C five, it's got knight D five. What do I do with this pawn though? B four. I'll never be able to play C four. On the other hand. Uh, on the other hand, I think knight c1 to d3, maybe use c5. Um, I think I think bishop f4 here. Try and weaken these dark squares before getting into one of these. Okay, so I'm sort of clamping c5 anyway. If I take, I think that's too good for black. I think I'll just move the bishop, sorry, the knight here. I hope I've got some tiny positional advantage. Um, well, I can't see if I have got an advantage what to do. <laughs> Maybe h4, h5. <laughs> if c5 and e5 are more difficult to play. Okay, I'll try h4. I've got c4 in reserve if I need to chase the knight. H five G five. Hmm. Is that a problem? Should I play F four first? <clears throat> F four though there's knight F six. So I'm gonna go for this, I think. Okay, I'm undoubling my opponent's pawns, but uh, I've got some compensation. Just playing double up rooks. It's starting to be a good time to consider c4 to change the knight, because then b5. About knight e5 here. So I'm attacking c6. If rook c8, then rook h8. This looks good all of a sudden. <coughs> um, although I missed my chance for c4 now, because knight takes b4. There's knight. Oh, knight d7 might be threatened takes rook h8 again, so knight d7 and if the knight wasn't protecting b6 then knight takes b6 so um, yeah he's just resigned 
I don't know why he's resigned. I don't, I don't think it was resignable. Maybe he had to go out or something. I don't think it's that bad. Um, oh, well, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, but, um, yeah. Okay, so, so we both had these H files and um, sort of neutralizing blacks with that, and he neutralized mine. Um, I don't know, maybe he did think he was like worse here. If rook c7, rook h8, maybe if king e7, knight takes c6, check. So, I don't know, could he play c5? Maybe again, check. King e7, knight c6, check. Winning the exchange. Maybe, maybe it is winning. Maybe he didn't just have to go out. Maybe this, this is a serious threat. This knight c6. Uh, please leave any comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.